What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol TLRY for Tilray Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, I should point out that they will be giving us an earnings announcement before the bell on Monday morning. So that's going to throw a wrench in this analysis in terms of direction. We can try to prepare for that in talking about either a gap up or a gap down. As of right now, in the post market, there has been a bit of an initial reaction kind of to the upside. Again, I would expect more fireworks as those numbers are actually released. So let's talk about both potential scenarios that could unfold here. Again, there's no guarantee that one versus another will happen. What I want to do is eliminate that. And then we're left with some pretty, uh, you know, in my estimation, at least easy things to watch for. We have nothing more than a two day balance area that's formed here. So there are two options, right? We either gap up and over that two day balance. In that case, I would expect that anyone who got short in these past two days starts to feel some pressure, right? That, uh, their positions obviously going to be underwater and maybe there is some sort of lift. I would really watch out for about 750, the top end of this range. It was also prior support from around in there. That's the bull case if we gap out of the two day range to the upside. The bear case would be if we gap underneath, these shorts are feeling good about their position and we know essentially if we were to scrunch up the chart, we're getting closer to that 555 target. I'm trying to show you where that's coming from. It's this prior area, if I zoom in here, where you can see support, resistance, support, support, right? So it does have a really strong uh, technical foundation there at 555. If that goes and there's just a massive landslide, your floor has to be at $4.68. So going back over to the recent uh, price action, just to illustrate that one more time, let's move that up. And here we go. So gapping down underneath, again, these people are feeling confident in their short position. Maybe you get some more people piling on. That takes us to 555 on a landslide event, which again, I might say is unlikely just based on the fact that we're already four days down in a row. That starts bringing us closer to uh, $4.68. So those are the two scenarios that I would really watch out for uh, to unfold a directional move based on some sort of gap out of the two day range on the earnings announcement. Now, the secondary uh, scenarios to each of those those two, right, would be the gap fill. So if we open outside of this range and we come in for something like this, the first thing I would think about is, okay, I'm not going to try to short for that gap fill, but I would be on the lookout for a gap fill reversal off the highs of the two day range. So again, if anyone in here wants to get out for a break, even they're going to start buying or covering their shares, you know, whatever they're doing with their option strategies at this 679. So if we do something like that, fill the gap, there is potential for a gap fill reversal as you get that reaction for the break even, uh, you know, people who are closing their position. The same is true, but opposite for the downside, right? Anyone who is short in this area right here and this gaps down and we start moving higher, those people, if they are like, oh no, my profits are evaporating, they want to lock something in, the first place they would start to do that is probably here. You're looking for the reversal off of that to move back lower. So those are the two scenarios that I would watch in sort of in the back seat to the first two that we initially looked at, right? I really do believe that if we gap out of the two-day range, range, we may get a directional move here or gap out to the downside, a directional move to here. Those are the two primary things I'll be watching out for. But we know if the gap does start to fill, we're being patient until it fully fills and then reevaluating the chart. The 30 minute time frame is not going to be of much use, especially because we're talking about gapping out of this range. But you can see that there is an immense amount of value built up right in the midpoint of the range. So right, just to slice that right through the middle, we're looking at 655 acting as a magnet if we start to move inside of the two day range. And again, I know I'm throwing all sorts of scenarios at you, but we just don't know based on the earnings sort of looming ahead of the bell on Monday morning. So those are my thoughts. If you enjoyed the video or the potential scenarios here, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.